Hi, it's Richard here, and welcome to a technical overview video of the SB uh, rotary series valves, the VRG 130 series and the VRG 230 series. So both of these valves are being used with uh, the recent rise of heat pumps. So there are some subtle differences between the valves and you will manage to get these set up incorrectly depending on which one you've bought. Uh, if you try and copy across the instructions that you've set up one valve with to the other. So I'm going to cover those key points with these valves and some setup hints and tricks that you guys can use to make sure your SB valve installation is as simple as possible. So first of all, I'm going to start with the uh, 130 series valve. So this is a VRG131 valve, which basically means it's a threaded type valve, but it's a, it's a 130 series valve. So these are normally used with mixing applications. However, they can be used as a, as a diverter application. Um, and some of the advantages of using these for a diverter application is that you don't have to have the input in the center of the T, which can help uh, with piping these up um, if you have a pipework orientation of heating or hot water at the top or heating and hot water at the side. So rather than uh, having a T, which you then may have to pipe upwards after coming out of the T, you can actually have that like that or even like that. So basically you can have input, output, output, or if you flip it around the other way and change the rotary position, you can have input, output, output. So you can have your output to the right or you can have your output to the left, like so. So it doesn't matter whether it's right or left, okay? But it is very important you get the shoe in the right position. So. If, for instance, we were taking our input in this valve in the square, we would need to make sure that the, the lug that's missing off the center castle is between the two points that we wish to, we wish to actuate um, between. So you can see that lug there is on a 45. We would need to point that there, okay? And that then would mean the shoe is in the right place to actuate between the top and the side outlet. If we were to um, flip this round, so I'm just gonna put that back on there. If we were to flip this round, so our input was on the triangle, and then we were gonna go out the side um, circle and square, we would need to turn this up here to the 45 position, which would then mean that our shoe is in the right position to actuate between the top and the side, okay? And what I'll do, I'll quickly show you the shoe. So inside these, there's an L-shaped shoe, okay? So the L-shaped shoe decides on where the fluid is going to go. So if I quickly, um, if I move that from the 45 position over to the top position, so I'm now moving that from there to here, okay, which is up to the square, you'll see now that the square port is now closed and the input on the triangle, which is there, will now go out of the side port, okay? And again, with a 90 degree actuation, if I move that round to the circle, like so, you will now see that the side port is closed. So you can see the brass shoe has closed the side port and the bottom, which was the input from before on the triangle, now goes out of the square at the top. Okay, and you can just about see the shoe in there. So if I move the shoe, you can see it moves like so and covers off that port. And then as that moves round, you can see it covers off the other port. All right, so that is the 131. Um, always, like I said, important, depending on which way you've piped it, so if you have it round that way, you need your lug, which is part of your castle. So if you see, that's got one lug there, one lug there, and we've got a missing lug here. The missing lug must be in the center of the two ports that you are trying to go out of. So whichever your output ports are, that, that missing lug needs to be between them. 
Okay, so like I said before, if you have it that way, so your input, input, output, output, it's got to be there. If that is your input and that's your output, output, you need to rotate it so it's between those two ports there. Okay, I hope that's clear. Once you've done that, then you can take that off. Your castle has a little lug in the middle, okay? It only goes one way round. So you'll see, if you look down the castle, one side you'll see there's like this, um, you can see it's like got the piece missing off it. So it's got like a D shape. Okay, if you look in there, it looks a bit like a D shape. Okay, the D shape goes up. Okay, so your lug, lug that's missing goes in line with that, with the D shape facing upwards, and that will push and fit right the way to the bottom. So when you look at the white castle from the side, you know if you've got it the wrong way, because if you try and put it on that way at all, it will not fit and it will not go all the way to the bottom. As you can see, no matter which way you try and fit it, it will not go to the bottom where this, you can't get it wrong because when you get it on the right side, it will go right to the bottom, all right? And you'll see that that lug, the lug that's missing, will line up perfectly with the line, okay? And that's lined up perfectly with the center of the two ports that you're trying to output on, okay? So if we were doing it the other way, you'd want your output, so you want your line, your, your lug lining up with your two output ports, if that is your input port, okay? Hope that's clear. So that is the 130 series valve, VRG 130. Okay, I can't do much more on that at the moment without the actuator, but I'll do a second video with the actuator, okay? So the big difference between the 130 and the 230 series is a 230 series has a T-shaped shoe. These have like an L-shaped shoe in them. These have a T-shaped shoe. So with a 90 degree rotation, it will close off um, this port. And if I go across 90 degrees, it will then close off this port. So on this, the only possible way you can configure it is input, output, output, okay? That's it. You can't go input, output, output on this or input, output, output. It's got to be input, output, output, irrespective of what you do, okay? So we always start in the top position there like that, okay? So then depending on which way you go, so you can pipe either of these up. So you can have your hot water coming out of this port or your hot water coming out of this port and your space heat in the opposite port. This is always your, so the circle on the 231 valves, okay? So this is a, a sorry, a 230 series valve. So this is a 231, um, but on the VRG 230 series valves, this is always your input. So this, for instance, would be from your heat pump into the valve. And then this would be your output for your space heating or domestic hot water. And this could be your output for your space heating or domestic hot water. Obviously, you would only choose one or the other. But to start with, you always start at the top. And the reason being, that, and this is where it goes wrong, okay? So when you're with this, you always start between your ports, okay? Your output ports. With this, you always start at the top, okay? If you've got it round like that, or you've got it here, or you've got it over here, like that, you've got it in the wrong position. With the 230 series, you must always have your lug on your castle, your missing lug, so you must have your missing lug to the top, okay, top of your T, when you start with these. And then when you put your actuator on, I'll show you how to do that afterwards, you basically put your actuator on, and you'll always be in the right position, okay? So if you start with that at the top, again, the castle, like I said, only goes one way. When that goes on, the castle position, the cutout in it goes up to here, okay? So the cut it out of this, uh, like this white castle that you put on, always goes to the top of the 230 series, and that's where you start. If you do it any other way, you'll get it wrong, okay? So that's a quick overview of the vowels. Um, I'm not gonna do much more on this now. I'm gonna cut this at about 10 minutes, this video. So that is the 231 series and the 131. Uh, so 130 series, 230 series, the, the same rules apply, irrespective of what valve you get out of the, 100, the 130 series or the 230 series, the rules are the same. 
If you have any questions at all, please ask on the video. If you um, haven't already followed my channel before, if you like and subscribe to my channel, and also if you hit the bell icon, whenever I do any videos like this, you'll be notified of the videos that I do. I do try and do technical over video, uh, uh, overview videos for uh, products because a lot of the time, either the manufacturing structures are difficult or other people have gone online, told you how to do it, and it's either not been clear or they've made mistakes or not fully explained why. Uh, we try and do videos that fully explain the products and uh, then give you the information how then to install them or fit them correctly. And we also follow up on the videos if you've got any questions or anything like that, more than happy to uh, help support uh, those questions on the video. Uh, obviously we, we are ESBY distribution partners for the UK. Um, so Mid Wales Plum and Heat Supplies, which is the company that I work for. Although this video is my own personal video, the company that I work for, we distribute and sell these uh, to installers UK wide. So if you've got any questions on, on that at all, please, please give us a call. Okay, thanks very much. I'm gonna wrap the video up now. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, give us, like I said, give us a like. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. And like I said, hit that bell icon and we will give you information when new videos arrive. Thanks very much for watching.